Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and more satisfactory and I do apologize for the gap in between videos as I have started a new job and uh, I'm getting quite a few hours there so um, yeah it's really hard to kind of build and everything while I am working at the same time so lots of stuff going on but I'm back today to try to get a video done for you what we are going to do today is I realized that I actually have some more space inside of my factory here so someone pointed out that I didn't have a whole lot of like uh, I didn't make the best efficiency like the use of space not the best use of space I believe it was authentic maverick that pointed that out and I was like hmm you know what let's take another look here and I believe he's right I think we can actually get some more code generators in here if we actually wanted to so what I'm thinking is obviously I can put one right here right above that and another one on the other side which would make a total of eight but but I also think I can get one right there and right there as well that's automatically 10 right there and then if we do the same thing on the other side over here we just got a total of 12 co-generators in this one area and here's the best part if I was to stack them on top of each other like put a whole nother row on top of these co-generators that would make a total of 24 co-generators in here which would be quite quite a bit of power but i don't know if i really need that or not i will probably save some space just in case i did want to do that but uh, i'm not 100 percent sure but anyway here's what we're going to do today we're going to work on the co plate the co power building uh, just a tad and kind of uh, we're going to fix these up i think i'm going to get these co generators over here running today as you can see i've already been messing around with the customizer a little bit too which is something i should, probably should have been doing before but i'll be honest with you i didn't know i had it <laughs> i knew it was uh, something that was in the new update and that you could play around with it i just didn't know that i had unlocked it or anything like that so yeah i didn't actually know that i had it all this entire time so i could have been painting these buildings and making them look much cooler the entire time but I didn't do that but I am now I'm playing around with colors right now I have this building painted kind of a, a white color um, if you guys have another thought on what color we should paint this building let me know in the comments below I am welcome to ideas uh, but in the meantime white I think is going to kind of work for me right here um, and the pipes I think I'm gonna pipe paint these pipes uh, kind of this aqua marine color kind of the same way my coffee cup my fix it coffee cup my handy dandy fix it coffee cup yeah i think i'm gonna paint the the pipes kind of that bluish color like that and the code generators i don't know uh again i will welcome ideas for what you guys think i should paint the code generators and also the turbines here as well the hydro plants uh so whatever you guys think i should paint those let me know and we will do that in the meantime though let's get started and we also are going to try to get maybe steel going today as well because i'd really like to try to get something going with that i've got some uh, some thoughts on how we're going to do that and try to get into that but uh let's get into some building here let me get some pipe work done and everything else and i will be right back all right fantastic news is i just finished up all the piping and all the co-work with the conveyor belts and everything is running pretty smoothly actually we've got plenty of coal we've got plenty of water uh running on one basically i've got one turbine handling three of these i did have to put one power shard in each of those but i can obviously uh, i can put two more right over here uh so if i wanted to do that that i have that option i didn't color the coal generators yet because i'm not 100 percent sure what color i'm going to put that um i also went with a darker color of blue because once i painted the actual pipe I realized I can't really see the water in there so it, it would be the same color so I decided let's go with a darker color blue and I think that works um, I also painted the turbines like a black color I don't know about that so you guys just go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments below on colors and everything uh, so that would be for the building here uh, which I have as a white I I kind of like the white but you tell me uh, what color we should do the co-generators I'm kind of thinking of a solid black and then if you like the uh, the color of the pipes so let me know on that as well so one thing i am seeing here though is that our coal is starting to get a little bit kind of uh laggy so i think i'm gonna have to throw a couple power shards into the miners down there that should get that 
as a constant stream of coal and that way we don't run out because we definitely don't want to run out of power this would be a pain in the butt to try to get going again so i'm going to take care of that throw a couple power gen or power shards into the miners down there until we get the mark twos once we get the mark twos that should cover all of this actually even a mark three miner would cover even more so let's see how much total power we have uh let's see consumption uh we're currently using around uh, we'll just look at maximum consumption. Maximum consumption is 256.3. And then we have a capacity of 632 with a production of 450. So not bad for just these guys here. And if I wanted to, I could probably totally throw some power shards into these. But I'm not going to do that. I, I think, like I said, we can put a total of 12 coal generators just in this one floor which I think would go great. Anyway, let me jump down there and fix this coal problem that we're about to have. I can see it's actually starting to, to lag and we're, we're starting to lose spots here. So let me take care of that. All right, so currently, oh, I see another power slug right there. Uh, I have, I ended up putting two power shards into each of the miners that, because you got to remember that's on impure coal over there that's sending to the coal generators. And that ended up fixing the problem with the gaps in the coal. Uh, oops, oops, fell down. So anyway, uh, what we are going to do now is work on that steel line. So we're going to need coal and iron coming in. There is a, an iron line right over there. And there is a coal line right over here. Or a node, anyway, that we are going to make lines out of. That is my plan. So what I'm going to do right now is just run over here to this iron line, our node, first which is where you where were you right over here somewhere yaha right there okay so the option is i could use this one which is a normal one now i think i saw another one right over here though so i'm actually gonna go take a look at this one okay so walked over here to this one okay i kind of ran anyway this one is a normal one as well and it's pretty close to that code right there which i believe is a normal node what is this one again take a look again yeah this is a normal one so with this normal coal and that normal iron right there going in we could run that over there because you can see my place right there and that is going to be basically our area that we're going to run it to now eventually we're going to have another one of those on this side so we're probably going to make the steel factory over here on this side but not yet not yet first we're going to work everything into this one and then we'll change some things later on we got to get our steel into production we got to get some uh some of the the quartz into production as well so with that being said i don't think i have any portable miners on me to make a miner actually i'm pretty sure i do not well i do not okay so what we're going to do is uh i'll probably craft some portable miners over here just so i can get these things going and we're going to fix up a line right here real quick. Alrighty. I am pretty proud of my work here so far. Uh, I can make this better and we will eventually make this better. But we just got to get it going first. So, so far we've got the iron that's going to be coming through this line. we got the coal that's going to be coming this line. And we're going to head it that direction. So, again, I'm going to just kind of skip through this real quick as we get this line built. Shouldn't take but a moment. Alrighty, I'm just finishing up the connections now for our coal and our iron so we can make our steel. So one last belt over to here. And there it goes. So we should have the iron coming across now. I can sort of see it over there. And let's head back inside. And again, this will be changing a lot later on, but this is just so we can actually get everything started. I have so much more work to do, so much more like customization and everything else here. So I'm going to take this out right here. I don't think I need that. And I want to use both of these two doors here for a foundry that is going to go right in the middle, right there. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. Okay, cool. And then we'll bring this in to here. That into here. And then if we connect that into that, and that into that, I believe that will make a nice little junction right there. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Oh, yeah. 
All right, now I just got to connect up some power here, which shouldn't be an issue. I think I have some power somewhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, right here. Cool. Uh, do I have this going all the way across the wall? I do have this going all the way across the wall. So I'll just connect that to that and that to that, that. Oh, I thought I had these going, but maybe I don't. Okay, that's cool. Uh, is it connected? It is connected. Sweet. This one is now ready to go. We're just going to say, hey, make me some steel. And it's going to make me some steel. Fantastic. All right, and then I'm just going to bring this out to here. And then bring it over to... Let's see. To right about uh, there. And then in to there. And look, now we got steel ingots working. Fantastic. All right. So there is a couple more things I would like to do right now at the moment. Uh, one is I want to head upstairs just a few spots here. All right. And currently I have this kind of floor here, which is my factory. And with the factory, um, well, let's see. These assemblers here. I think need a little bit more work and they're not getting the material fast enough and then I've got all of this down here so once it gets if once it starts to fill up it starts to go in here and then it's starting to fill this up so what I'm kind of thinking is that I might do something kind of like this I think I'm gonna make yeah I'm gonna make a place here actually I'll probably put it right here for the moment uh, uh, maybe not. Hold on. Maybe I might bring it out a little bit more. Yeah. I think I will bring it to here. Okay. Yeah. Right to there. Alright. And then I'm just going to connect a piece up to here. Reverse that so it's going in. Yeah. And then bring that down. And then bring this one down from here and up to there all right and now what we are going to do is just throw this over to this fantastic all right and back upstairs here and you know what that's going to cause a problem, I bet. Yeah, I knew I would run out of space. But what if we take this here? Come here. Get, connect. Connect. There we go. And then run it into that. Okay, so now, what this is going to do is it's going to take everything that is not used by these machines, it's going to take it underneath of here and send it back through so that we have a constant kind of workflow here now eventually this could maybe start to overflow and get just to be too much but once we start getting some other belts and stuff in here maybe some mark three belts I think we'll be good so far this is this is kind of working now what I want to do now is go back down and start working on more of the steel uh, oh but you know what there is one more thing I'd like to do all right, coming over here to the fix-it machine, I have five tickets, and I kind of have an idea of what I would like to get, which I'm kind of thinking about getting these modern catwalks here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these, throw it on there, and buy. Oh, sweet. Those modern catwalks are going to be fantastic for what I have in mind next. Uh, let's see. We can also probably do some research here as well. Uh, oh yeah, I could totally do the zip line, which would take five minutes. What else can I do? Uh, I don't have that because I don't have plastic. I don't have that just yet. Uh, nutrients. Nope, can't make that just yet. Uh, I don't have a purple power slug yet. Let's see. I don't have enough crystals for that right now at the moment. And sulfur. Do I have enough? Ooh. Oh, you know what? I think I have some sulfur right here. Uh... Do have enough sulfur. Oh, let's get started on that research. Yeah, let's get that done. That'll take a couple seconds here. And done. Fantastic. Now, all I need now is what is that? Uh, 
the gunpowder. Yeah, I just need to make some gunpowder. 50 of that. That won't be a problem. And then we can move on towards that. All right. Let's head back inside, though, and continue working on our steel. Okay, so I ran into a small issue. The line that I made that was connected back up to this I did do pretty much what I kind of thought it might do, which is stop up the line. And now everything is blocked up. So we're going to have to fix this, but I have an idea. So what we will do is go ahead and take that out right there and take this out. And then we will bring this down here. Oops. Why is that doing that? Oh, weird. Uh, let me try that again. Uh, okay. What? Why? Okay. Connect to that. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it was doing that, but... Okay. So what we'll do is take this. Right. Okay. And then we'll bring this over here. I'm going to grab this thing here for making a hole in the floor. And we're going to go down here. And we're going to jump up here. And we're going to go over here, and then I'm going to go to, oh, I don't know. Uh, ugh, you know what? I really don't want to do that. I really don't. Because um, I have other thoughts with this. Yeah, I'm totally not going to do that. And what we're going to do is go back up here. All right, and I'm just going to take this out. This, this was a bad idea. I should have just kept it so that it goes into a storage container. The storage container was working out just fine. I'm just going to keep that and, and let it do what it was doing. So that, that'll be fine. Uh, what's in here? Uh, ooh, a bunch of rods. Okay, so that could cause an issue. Uh, let's do... Man, I really want to kind of run that back through there. Um, I, you know, I think once we get the Mark III belts, I think this will become less of a problem, honestly. So, do I really want to get rid of all those rods? You know what? We're making tons of rods. I, I am going to get rid of all of those rods there. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm just going to build a organization. There we go. A storage container. And I'm going to build it like this, actually. It needs to be like that. Okay. Take that out and put that to there, to there. Run a thing into that. There we go. Okay. Now our line is moving again. And now I can get mm, tasty coffee. Back to work. How how did you know have you ever thought about this? How in the world? So you're you're wearing a face mask, right? How do you drink the coffee? I think, you know, I don't even think it's coffee in there. I think it's some kind of virtual syrup. It's like Blizzard from Dairy Queen. It just doesn't want to come out. No matter, it's this is the best coffee cup ever. You never spill your drink. But anyway, uh, we're going to go back to working on our uh, steel line here. All right, fantastic. We finally have our steel line going, and we're getting the steel stuff that we need, the beams and the pipes done. So as you can see, we have iron and co both coming in to our foundry here which is then sending it out into this box which then sends it up and above so let's head up to the next floor so I pretty much did this in the exact same manner I did the last ones for all of our iron production so as you can see it will then come up here and it will come up into this section here and it splits apart into three to the left the right and the center and then it goes up so I have here you can see I have steel pipes being made over here I have steel beams being made steel beams are being made 15 per minute and it's only a 75 percent efficiency so not great over here is a hundred though on these so we're making a lot more pipes than we are beams so for the one up here on top I actually have that one making beams as well because that way we can double the output of beams which as you can see on our right hand side I'm gonna need 200 of those and 100 steel pipes so all right and then all of these the output goes up into these and here instead of going into this line here where all the um, the copper and all the iron stuff and stuff and things like that are going here I am actually going to the right instead of the left so it's going up this way and then up into this 
So if we go up one more floor, and we'll see, I have two boxes up here. Both of these are holding our steel. So I'm just gonna grab 200 steel pipes. Oh, I can't grab just two. Ooh. You know what, I'm just gonna drop off some of that and then grab some of that. And I wanna drop off some of that too. There we go. All right, and then I'll we'll come over here to our steel beams storage and grab a good 200 beams. And that is going to get us exactly what we need to get the Logistics Mark III, which will make everything run smoother, or at least I hope it will. So I'm gonna head back down to our hub and throw this in there and get this Logistics Mark III done. All right, down here at the hub, let's go ahead and throw in 500 of that, 500 of that, or 200 of that, and 100 steel pipes. Hit the button, and boom, Logistics Mark III. Finally got that one. Now, let's take a look and see what we're gonna get next time. Uh, let's see here, jump pads, no. Vehicle transport, nah, we don't really need that. Uh, I'm kinda thinking I want these hyper tubes to make it quicker so to get up and down the mountain and stuff. I'm kind of thinking I might want that. Oh, you know what though? If we do advanced steel production, we get minor mark two and I pretty much will have everything I need for this. Yeah. I'm just gonna grab this advanced steel production. I might actually have what I need for this. All right, fantastic. I now have everything I need to advance to this next level. So let's get those rotors in there. Let's get those steel pipes in there. Let's get the wire in there. And let's get the concrete in there. Hit the button and boom. Advanced steel production is done. Which is going to give us... Man, I don't even remember what we got out of that. <laughs> uh, I think hyper tubes is what we're going to go for next. Which we need uh, in case industrial beams for... Yeah, and vehicular transport is also next, which, uh, oh, that gives us inventory slots. Hmm, we can get the truck stations and stuff out of that, but I don't really think I need the truck stations right now. Not as much as I do the hyper tube, so that's going to be my next thing that we are going to work on. So I'm just going to select that as our milestone. Boom. And we're going to, we've almost got all the smart plates, and then I'm just going to have uh, construction of the other things we need to get going with the next steps. So, that is going to be the next video. We're going to get complete phase two. Uh, also, I'm going to work on a silica line because I am tired of not having windows in my factory. I very much want some windows in there. But, until the next time, I appreciate everybody for watching. I really, 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 really do. Thank you so much for everything, guys. All the new subscribers, thank you as well. And to my patrons who are still hanging in there with me, I appreciate that as well. You guys have a great rest of the day, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you next time.